allow me to make quick observations mm -hmm. on what happened mm -hmm. uh, in Parliament. Mm -hmm. With the uh, is it Ernesto? Ernesto yeah, Yeboa. Ernesto Yeboa yes. and um, yeah. I've heard people justifying, defending, and rationalizing it, including even some members of uh, parliament. And I was surprised that members of parliament will rationalize and justify that. That conduct flies in the face of the Parliament Act 1965. The standing orders of parliament yeah. and the constitution of Ghana. See, we are not in a military government where our rights are curtailed, so we are enabled to use all means, sometimes even unorthodox means, to deal with situations. This is a democracy with all its limitations and challenges. We fought and brought into order, the, into being the Public Order Act. People went to court. The Constitution guaranteed it, but we had to operationalize it. If you remember, it's the MPP versus IGP yep. or something like that, yep. mm. to open up the space. In spite, even now, we still have difficulties mm. sometimes with the way the police conduct themselves. Mm. And recently, the Let My Vote Counts mm -hmm. also went to court and got a further pro pronouncement on it, where the police was always going Excellent. blindside and stopping Fantastic. them. Fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. That we are widening the democratic space mm -hmm. through agitation, advocacy, mm -hmm. and some level of crusading. Mm -hmm. That's what we are doing. Mm -hmm. We do not have the luxury of an alternative. Mm -hmm. We should not encourage people to use unorthodox mm -hmm. or illegal means. Go read the, uh, the parliament the, the, act. The mm -hmm. many people who mm -hmm. support them despite the rules mm -hmm. that they have breached mm -hmm. uh, say it's, 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 it's a habinja. It's supposed to tell you the so-called you know, spring. I heard, I heard a member of parliament uh, that we may have Listen, to I heard a member of parliament <laughs> say so yesterday on air, and I was <laughs> shocked. It, it made me re recollect Amate Kwe and his gang. They invaded parliament with the same sentiments. They invaded parliament, drove all the parliamentarians away, and drank the tea. <laughs> that was <laughs> up. and he kept public to say that the tea was like cocoa, cocoa. cocoa. Those, the, you know, very, very thick. <laughs> then we were enjoying it. People were celebrating him. Yeah. Oh, then the you quality of oh, oh. people. Then, were then the quality of tea has dropped. <laughs> I, 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 I can confirm you. that. People were celebrating him. <laughs> Same with the judiciary. Exactly. Have you forgotten? They yeah. invaded the place, yeah. drove it, and locked it. Yeah. Yeah. That they had yeah. dissolved yeah. the Ghanaian judiciary. Yeah. Some of those things resulted in the murder of the judges. Mm. Take it from me. We've got to be very careful. People are shouting. Look, some of us have gone through it. This recently, people were mourning executed generals, huh? Mm -hmm. We should be very careful. But people say generally there is this, you know, disappointment of the that people is why we have in, their, in their representatives, Listen, that so they represent you, themselves. And they you vote them, them out. Mm. You have been given the option. Yeah. You vote them out, you demonstrate against them, okay. you send petitions to yeah. parliament. Parliament takes petitions. Okay. Yes. That public gallery, there's, there are rules. Mm. Strangers, we are all strangers, apart from the president, the vice president, and I think uh, one or two, uh, the speaker, in the act here. Yeah. Yeah. They have, yeah. they have yeah. interpretation. See, they've ministers. told who is a stranger and who is not a stranger. No, ministers yeah. are even strangers. So they clearly okay? could have hold, that is could have, they, the they clearly could have held them for contempt of parliament. It's here, contempt, yes. and you can be jailed. Uh, yes. And or you can be banned from entering parliament mm. for about 10 months. Mm. Some MPs, no. some MPs, both in the minority and the majority, say they should let the two guys go, Ernesto no. and, and Adams. Adam. Yes. No, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't yeah. go for I them to be that. tried and thin. I wouldn't do that. Mm. But I'm just telling people that this is the law because of what I heard. Mm. People thinking that, oh, then, oh, a thousand of us will go to parliament and you, you can hunk off all of us. We shouldn't encourage that. Okay. Otherwise, okay. let's amend all these laws. Mm. Amend the Parliament Act 65, mm. amend the standing orders, and amend the Constitution. Okay. And tell people that we can go to the Parliament House as if it's a stadium mm. and do take part in the debate. Mm. Let's stop it okay. before it's too late. Right.
Okay, to the substantive issue. And uh, when they were brought to the police station, uh, somehow, coincidentally, I was around yeah. the police. <laughs> so uh, oh, they, they had called on me, and mm -hmm. I, I gave them some assistance. Oh. But I agree with Kweku to yeah, a large true. extent that we ought to be measured in the manner that we do things. We have a democracy, and it is the rules, so we should play according to the yes, rules. Yes, otherwise amend yeah. the rules or yeah. throw the rules okay. into the dustbin. Let's go, Kweku. Yeah, so to See, the substantive matter, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm a student of parliamentary history. But I love parliament. It's the best arm of yeah, the man. government machine for yeah, me. Yeah, his father was. Yeah. And we've had challenges with our parliamentary history because of the fact that coup d'etats come mm -hmm. and they are wiped off the landscape, mm -hmm. leaving the executive and the judiciary intact. Even not that they don't, they are not challenged, but the parliament vanishes yeah. of the political landscape, and that has led to a lot of problems. As we speak. We really, historically, in this Fourth Republic, haven't had what we can call a parliament house in the true sense of the word. The last one, the old parliament house itself, was actually a town hall. It, if you remember, it was known as George uh, something Memorial Hall, mm -hmm. one of the colonial mm -hmm. uh, governments. Post into, transit into Fourth Republic, Initially, we had to use the conference center. Yeah, yeah. And then after modification, it moved to the conference center, the Accra International Conference Center, I meant. But after we had modified the Kwame Nkrumah Conference Center, they moved in there. The tower, that's the job, 600, has been undergoing all sorts of renovations and rehabilitation in order to provide offices and things. So strictly speaking, now we have Jubilee House, which is the presidency. We don't have a parliamentary edifice in the red, true sense of the word. But we've used some state monies to do all sorts of modifications and renovations. I, in principle, am not against building a new parliamentary chamber. In principle, I'm not. I've observed the public outcry and uproar and the way it's going. And I keep on saying this point, and I'm, I'm happy a member of parliament is sitting here. When these issues come and they are thrown out there into the streets, I'm not talking CDD or propaganda, yeah. they do very measured, serious arguments. Yeah. But when it's thrown out there, no politician, yeah. Yeah. no politician or administration wins that battle. Yeah. The masses win. Yeah. Because people play on the keyboards of people's emotions. That's true. It becomes an emotive matter, and nobody is ready to listen. But as it stands now, the majority leader says they will take into account the views. Meanwhile, they, had already st they have already started. And mm -hmm. my question really is, do they have an option in this? I'm coming. See, uh, I'll give you one classic example. When Nkrumah was setting up, uh, building the Job 600, yeah. there was agitation in this country. Mm -hmm. There were people who were opposed to it. Yeah. And I'll read, yes, but I'll read something here. This is June 1st, 1966. It's scaled from uh, Ghana, 1966, the 67 edition. It was a compilation of news items by the Minister of Information. Chairman of EFA Housing Commission announces in Kumasi that the Nkrumah government spent $6.6 .6 million a pounds to provide houses for workers within 10 years, while the ex-president spent as much as 8 million pounds to construct Job 600 within 10 months to house heads of states of Africa for 10 days. <laughs> this was supposed to be an indictment mm -hmm. of Nkrumah. Job 600, by the fact that we lacked maintenance culture, mm -hmm. served useful purposes over a period, yeah. 20, 30 years. Mm -hmm. Those who were taking him on were short-sighted mm -hmm. and did propaganda. I can cite other examples. My understanding of this new parliamentary chamber complex is that we are not talking of the debating chamber alone. 
a lot of people are focused on the debating chamber, which we have reconfigured and done so many so things many. To, to move from 200 seated to 230, 230 and then to 275. What I have found out is that it is a complex that will come with other facilities. Mm. Offices for the table clerk, mm -hmm. for the verbal team reporters who, you know, yeah. they move from uh, uh, the job 600 to co they commute mm -hmm. off and on because there is not enough space. The press gallery, the public gallery, all those things, indeed an archive for parliamentary records. Mm. There'll be a church, there'll be a museum, a museum. diplomatic yes. offices. And it is a project that will be completed, in fact, if it starts over about five, six year period. And now he was talking about three. You need, mm -hmm. I think, communication, you see? Communication has been a serious problem for how this matter was put into the public domain. So, but the question people are asking is, you talk about job six, and now we have it, and the MPs use it, and they are doing a bit of extension to it. We have the main chamber, they've done works on it. So the question people are asking is, now we have this. Forget about the fact that it's, it's not like Parliament House, but we know it is Parliament House, even though it's not... It I thought you not, understood what I meant. I get, I get that, mm -hmm. yes. So the, the question is, why do you want to spend money again to do this? And, and, and guess what? There's, there's this woman who called me and said, it's, it's the populist thing, you I see? understand, but it's uh, populist. So, so they are not thinking it's about... It's the same thing, I read, the, what mm. I read about Nkrumah mm. captures what you have yeah. just told me. Jubilee House, when it was boom put, put up, the same thing happened. Mm -hmm. Don't forget. The same thing. The same, the same <laughs> argument happened. To the extent that people said they will not mm. reside in there, mm. they will turn it into a pottery something. Yeah. Same things do happen. Mm. No? Who Look. Said that. Oh, you don't know. Uh, I can give you that. Are you sure? Wow. See, this, this particular parliament house is not even disability friendly. It's not. We passed the act 10 or so years ago. The complex is, a, is envisaged that the new complex will have all those facilities. We passed the act almost uh, 13 years ago. We gave a moratorium of to now years. of 10 years, yeah. and the moratorium is elapsed. Division rooms. With disability division rooms. Mm. He's a member of parliament. Division rooms insufficient, not even properly suited for mm. the work to be done. Okay. My view, mm. of course, because of the public uproar, my, I see look into the crystal ball, people putting this thing on hold. I see it, mm. I can feel it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I am saying that one way or the other, we must start with this project. Okay. But let me finish, I disagree. let me finish. Mm. See, I'm surprised Sami says he consulted some past members of the parliamentary service. Program. Wow. Yes. I will not ask you to mention names. But would you be surprised if you see minutes, minutes mm -hmm. of the public service board, parliamentary service board, from Justice Annan to Michael Quay, that these are captured in? Would, would you be surprised? Su very surprised. I'd be very surprised. Even go for the hands out, you will get some hints. Alajiti. Mm. 2001, 15 January, 2002, rather. It's here in the Hansard. That, that the Permanent yeah, Service Board yeah, has yeah, discussed. Yeah. No, 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 no. That telling the Parliament that this is the mission. But I'm talking of the Parliamentary Service Board minutes. You know, hmm. I keep records. I have Parliamentary Service Board minutes here. I am Which surprised. Is, this is when? Oh, Minutes this, of when? This is, this is 2007. Okay. I'm not... I have them here. And you've gone through and seen For, something? Like no, no, no. Oh, yes. In terms of parliamentary, in a, uh, during the other speakers. It's here. But I am saying that I'm surprised that any member mm -hmm. 
we'll of the parliamentary service, but we'll tell yeah. a member okay. of parliament. All right, so that let's hear. We did not discuss. Let's hear from That's Justice Yansin and. Uh, yeah. They all did. And, and, and Martin, Martin, let's can, hear I, from... can I complete? Again, the President Mahama thing, which he tried to make it look like a lightweight matter. I'm, I'm surprised. This is the president mm -hmm. addressing parliament. Mm -hmm. And he says, in my first term, mm -hmm. we will seek to strengthen parliament by, I would skip all the other ones, mm -hmm. commence a feasibility study for the construction of a new parliamentary chamber board, uh, block on the premises of the state house. We would also explore appropriate housing for MPs in order to guarantee their safety and security. Yeah, he says so. He says feasibility. Feasibility. Uh, was it, it was, done? It no, done. no, no. Was it? It wasn't done. No. So, the president was telling Parliament that no, so he didn't, this was twenty thirteen, twenty fourteen. No, no. He didn't say no. where. Right. Twenty fifteen. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Again, thank you. would you, you be surprised yeah. mm. if you saw a feasibility report? Mm -hmm. Would you? I you would see? Be. Do you have you one here? No. Okay. Because <laughs> when you, you were see? saying minutes, I knew you had it. See, let's be. Let's. I'm trying to hint people mm. that they should be consistent, mm. and they shouldn't think no, records. No, because you're saying there's a feasibility report. I haven't said that. Okay. I've said, did, so they didn't do any feasibility. Yeah, that's that's what my checks indicate. No, okay. <laughs> now, 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 Justice, <laughs> sorry, justice. Look, sorry the, the two of you, thank you very much. Monday, now, I'm getting you and Martin, uh, let's, let's have your bites uh, here. Uh,